We've had so many people come to us at Day Trade to Win over the years who have tried day trading a number of different ways. And ultimately, they realize, I need to go and try something called price action. And if you don't know what that is, that means just using price on your chart. We'll get into that a little bit later. But that's what we specialize in. We have a bunch of different courses and software that focus on price action trading. And uh, most importantly, probably for you, if you're watching this video, is we have a free Get Started Trading Guide. That can be found up here in the menu. Go to Get Started and then click on Get Started Guide. This will put you on this page where you can submit your information and then get a PDF email to you. And within that PDF, you will see a number of things that describe how we go about trading, what we recommend, general concepts explained, how to get a professional trading platform, what to do when you get the platform, such as installing a data feed, and many more things. So now we will look at downloading the platform that we use, which is called Ninja Trader. Yeah, so to get Ninja Trader, you could just go to ninjatrader.com in your browser and you'll see this large area here, input your email and you'll get the download. But if you go by our get started trading guide, you're going to click this link here in part three and then use this license key to generate the download and that page here looks something like this. This is where you put the key, you click on submit, and then you download a setup program. And that setup program installs NinjaTrader. If you've been using a computer at all for some time, you should be fairly familiar with installing software. If not, it's pretty straightforward. Just keep clicking the next button agree to the terms, by all means read them if you want to, and eventually you will get two icons on your desktop. You will get a 32-bit NinjaTrader icon and a 64-bit NinjaTrader icon. Most of the computers these days are 64-bit machines, so use the 64-bit version. Typically what I do for our clients is I delete the 32-bit icon. It's still installed, if you need it as a 32-bit application. The 64-bit application, though, is much better at taking advantage of all your computer resources, though, in most cases, the way we go about price action trading, you won't actually need to use all those resources. Your computer will probably do just fine, even if it's a few years old. Upon opening Ninja Trader for the first time, you may see a few pop-ups and so forth. You can close those things and eventually you will see in the background this control center. It may be a different color, it may be a lighter shade. I've changed mine to this darker color because it's easier on the eyes, I feel. In any case, this is called the control center and I think of it as the main headquarters of Ninja Trader. This is where you would go to do just about anything from opening a new chart or a super dome or the trade performance window for tracking your practice performance to a number of things. But Ninja Trader isn't so useful from the get go. You could actually look at historical data, that means charts with data from prior days, but the main advantage of Ninja Trader is actually the practicing of trading in real time conditions. And to do that, you need to set up a data feed. And a data feed is really a connection to a data provider that gives you real time data on your charts. Once you have one of these data feeds set up, you go up here to the connections menu and you click on it. And then within a short period, it should connect. But if you have an expired data feed, this is what will happen. You will get an error message. So keep in mind these data feeds typically last for about 14 consecutive days maximum. If you have a real time, rather a funded brokerage account, you won't run into this issue. If you are a client of Day Trade to Win and you need further assistance with data feeds, by all means email us, support at daytradetowin.com and we can help assist you. So yes, a data feed is really just a username and password that allows you to connect to the market. And we feel that this is really essential because if you're not practicing real time, then how are you practicing? What's the value in your practice? So let's go over setting up one of those data feeds. So to do that, connections, configure, 
And then we have a bunch of connection providers. If you are seeing very few connection providers, it's possible that you installed NinjaTrader using a license key that provides fewer options. And you can change your Ninja license key by going to help and license key. But for 99% of the people watching this video, you'll probably just go to configure and see all these different options here. Now the one that you're looking for is called Ninja Trader Continuum. And when you see that, double click it. And then at that point, it will drop down here, click on it here, and then you can enter a username and a password. Again, if you don't have one, you can email us at support at daytradetowin.com and then we will assist you in getting a data feed. Once you have a username and password or a data feed, input that information here and then click on OK. And then we can go to connections and go to the data feed here, my Ninja Trader Continuum, click on that and then we should have the connection. When connecting, you will click the data feed here and you'll notice that there is a yellow circle up there and down in the bottom left and it turns green once it's connected. You should also hear a sound. And at this point, you have live data coming into the platform that's available to you. So you can open a chart by going to new chart or open a Superdome or both. You can do what you need to do to begin practicing because you now have that really important real-time data. Next, why don't we take a look at opening a chart? Because after all, a chart is the main way to see how price moves over a period of time. You've probably seen charts in the news, on various websites, maybe even in researching various day trading courses and software. We primarily work with charts because we work with price action, which is the movement of price on charts. So to open a chart, in case you didn't see what I just did, I went to new and then chart. This opens up a window here. They titled it data series. In the instrument box, that's a prompt saying, what market do you want to open? So here you would select the instrument or the market that you want. And you've probably seen on the news how different markets have different abbreviations. The data fee that we set up is for futures. You can look up the definition for futures trading in a few different places and get a sense of what it's about. That's really for another video. But in NinjaTrader, they have a category here in this drop down for futures. And here you would select the market that you want. In this case, we will be looking at the E-mini S&P 500. The abbreviation for that is ES. Right now, I'm recording this video in November, so the current contract period is the December contract. I am going to click, therefore, on this ES1221. The reason why we like the E-mini S&P 500 is because it's very liquid and the price patterns that occur work really well with our systems. So now that we have the E-mini selected, we can begin specifying the type of chart that we want. There are many options here, but we don't really go in and tinker with all of these settings. Some of the main settings are right here at the top right of this panel. We like a minute-based chart. Minutes are good. It's a standard time-based chart. There are other different chart types that are fancy in other ways, but using a regular interval of time, which you're probably comfortable with already because you look at time on a regular basis. This is going to be easier for you to understand and it's also the type of chart that we work with. We work with a one minute chart and a five minute chart. By default, a one, right here, one minute chart is selected, but if you wanted to use a five minute, you would type in five and then you would open up a five minute chart once you click on OK. So let's go a little bit further and see if there's anything else we may want to change. Going down, we see, ah, days to load. What could that mean? It is actually the amount of historical days that you want to see on your chart. So if you have a value of five here, that means you can scroll back five days ago and see what occurred through each of the last five days. So that's a lot of price data. It's not really going to cause a problem to load all that data. If you go beyond 30 days though, you might experience some slowness in terms of downloading all that data. So typically we recommend 
a maximum value of 30. In most cases, we will use 5 or 14, so we get about two weeks of historical data. This won't really impact any signals that you're using, but sometimes it's nice to go through and review and see what price has been doing, how price has been moving, how volatile things have been, and so forth. So let's keep it at 14, the value at 5, and we can ignore the remaining settings. Clicking on OK, we should then have a chart, which I will bring over here. Now, this chart is kind of small. It's kind of crunched up compared to the display dimensions that we're working with. I'm going to drag this here and position it so that it really takes up the full width and height of the display. The price candles, in my opinion, are still a little bit small. And for this video, you might have a hard time seeing the various values on the two axis here. So we have a vertical axis, which is price, and then one here on the bottom, the horizontal one, which is time. So you have time from left to right, up and down is price. So throughout the day, price is plotting and so on and so forth at different values, and it begins to take a uh, personality and appearance, uh, price action really, that's what we look at. And from this, you can deduce certain patterns and then make decisions on how you want to trade. That's really the art of price action trading that we specialize in at day trade to win. Now, let's make things a little bit easier to see for our eyes here. Let's make the text bigger on the chart. I'm going to right click the chart, properties, and change the font. Drop down, let's make this a little bit bigger so all of the viewers can see it. Maybe 20 would be good. How does that look? Okay, that's a little bit better. 20. Okay. Now if we click and hold here the time axis on the bottom and drag to the left, we can now have a clearer view of what price is doing. I'm doing this video late in the day, U.S. Eastern Time. And you can see here the time format is 24-hour time. Sometimes it's called military time. The time is currently 6.22 p.m. local time. But if you were to compute that in 24-hour time, you would be looking at the 1825 chart. And with 24-hour time, keep in mind that it sort of matches the regular local time until you hit the afternoon. And then instead of 1 p.m., you have 1300. And you count up from there throughout the evening. That is a little run through of 24 hour time and how price appears on a chart. We have over here the price axis that I mentioned before. You can click and drag this one, but when you do that, it really stretches it out and isn't of much use. If you ever drag your chart in such a way that it becomes difficult to navigate, you can look to the upper right and you should see this little F button. F as in fixed. It's the fixed scale button. I call it the focus button because it brings the candles back into focus. And that's what you like to see because otherwise we're trading in the dark. We want to be able to see price moving at all times so that we can make decisions based on real time movement. Remember what I was just covering, the importance of real time trading. And when you're trading price action, seeing real time movement is really important. You don't want to be making decisions based on what happened too long ago either. You want to make decisions based on what price can reasonably do in the given moment. And how do we get informed decisions? Well, it's good to have a strategy in mind and it's good to have a strategy that has some consistency. One of the things that we advise all traders of, or at least recommend, is using something called the average true range. The ATR, another name for it, can be applied to the chart by right-clicking the chart and going to indicators. There's also a way to get to the indicators panel by going up here to the top, but I like to right-click because that gives me a full listing of everything I want to see. There's many other options here to configure and adjust things. So, indicators. And what is an indicator? An indicator is a way to inform yourself so that you can make a trading decision. It can be a visual cue, such as a signal, such as a wavy line, something that will give you an idea about what the market is doing, what may happen, what's happened in the past. There are no guarantees, of course. Indicators that give you signals, those signals can be excellent, but there's no guarantee that any signal will produce a successful result. The market is going to do what the market wants to do. That's just the way it is. Risk is a part of trading, and we always tell that to our clients. 
back to the point ATR average true range. What is it? It is a measure of price activity for the last X number of bars, X as in a variable. I'm going to use a period value of four. I believe 14 is what is typically here, but we're going to switch that to a four. Why is that? Same as I was describing moments ago. We like to see a more recent picture of time to give us more real time informed decisions. 14 means it's gonna look 14 bars back to give us an average of what price activity is done. Is that gonna be so helpful? No, because that's a snapshot of a bigger time period. If you were trading maybe on a 15 minute chart or something like that, or had another chart that was that kind of a time frame and you wanted to cross reference and get all complicated, maybe you could find some use with that 14 value, but we always keep it at four. Now you can customize the appearance of the ATR if you want by going down here. Ninja Trader likes to use these little drop down triangles. They're kind of tricky to click on. They're pretty small, but look for them, click on them if you want, customize things how you like them, width of three, change it to gold if you're on a dark chart, and voila, you should have this ATR at the bottom, highly legible and giving you its value, the current ATR value all the way on the right. Right now it's 1.78. So the market is not too volatile in terms of how we at day trade to win measure the market. We look for an ATR value between two and four points to say, this is a good time to trade. If it's above five, which is right here, that's a little too volatile for us. And we're going to switch it from a five minute to a one minute. And you can do that right up here. You can switch the time frame easily up here. And by the way, if you need to go into your settings again and really fine tune the chart the way you want it, by all means do so, right click, data series, and you're brought back to that display we had earlier where you can change the historical data and really the other aspects of the chart, the chart type and so forth. So this is a little bit more customizable than the quick access drop down here. And by the way, if you wanna switch among the different futures markets, you can select here, and then eventually you'll have a listing of recent chart types up here that you can easily click to bring up that chart type. So just some tips there for navigating through different types of charts. Back to the point, ATR useful, period value of four gives you uh, an average of the last four bars, thus computing to 1.78 at the present moment. Above five, too fast, below two, probably too slow. Follow the guidelines of your trading method. We give really clear instruction at day trade to win, so you know what to do for the given conditions. And by the way, if you ever see this arrow here in the upper right, that means you're not looking at the current conditions. So let's refocus on the current conditions. That jumps us to the current plotting candle. Since this is after hours, price isn't moving around too much, but I will point out that the present price here for the E-mini is 4642.75. You can see how the little point of this black sort of tag thing is, is pointing right now to the, let's really zoom in here, to the bottom of this candle. This whole thing here is a candle. And the reason why it's red, it's because it's closing. This price right here is lower than the last candle. So the red is determined by the position of the current price relative to the prior candle. So if price shot up here, was up hanging out over here, this would be a green candle, but it's not, it's down here. So that's how you look at the candles and the candle color. And if you go back in time, you can kind of see how that makes sense with the opening and the closing price. And how do you know what the opening price is? Well, that depends. So we can tell that this candle, for example, this green one opened here and closed here because it was overall a green candle. It closed higher than it opened, thus it is a green candle. This one here, the current candle, it must have opened here and seems to be closing here, but we don't know when it closes, right? We're on a five minute chart. Each candle is five minutes in duration. We're gonna show you how that works in a minute. Oh, it just closed. Okay, well you get my point then. So it closed lower, so it turned red. And that's set in stone pretty much. This is always gonna be a red candle for the current date here at the 1830 candle. The 6.30 p.m. local time candle is a red candle. Historically, it's now recorded. We are now on another plotting candle. Now, the focus here is real-time trading. So we're in a candle right now. We're always going to be in a candle. The market does close for a period of time during the day. You can look that up or email us. We will tell you about when that is. So how do you actually confirm when a candle is about to close? Well, we use something called a bar timer. If you right click and go to the indicator section, you will see that there are many, many indicators here, but we only use so many. The bar timer conveniently is just below the ATR. This is an alphabetical list if you haven't noticed. So if you double click on bar timer, great. There's nothing to configure. If you click on okay, 
it will be added to the bottom right of the chart. And you can see we have about three minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this candle. We are using a five minute chart. Every candle represents five minutes. So this will start counting down from about five minutes each time. When this reaches zero, you will then have a new candle start and the countdown will begin again. So again, at the concept here, looking at the overall concept, we're looking at price movement over time represented as candles opening and closing at various prices. This is just how most traders view price and time to make decisions, certainly price action trading, the way we do it at day trade to win. Yes, you can use a different chart type if you want. You can change it to a squiggly line or something like that, but that just doesn't give us the same representation, the same picture. All right, so you're looking at a chart. Now, what do you do with it? Do you just look at it? No, you wanna trade you want to hopefully make money trading, but it's important to practice trading first with this real-time simulated paper trading data feed, as they call it. To paper trade, you need to have a way to actually place trades or place orders, as they're also called. NinjaTrader provides a way of doing that within the chart. It's called Chart Trader. And if you go up here to the top, you'll see this little icon here. It's hard to describe what it is. It's two small boxes connected to a larger rectangle. If you click on that and go to Chart Trader, you'll have this panel on the right. And you can place different types of orders. Day trading, the way we do it, you're pretty much taking an educated guess in the current moment as to whether price is going to go up or down. That's it. There's more to it, but that's essentially what it boils down to. And you probably can't see the distinction too well, but in the left panel, these are the buttons that will let you buy. And that says, I think the market is going to go up. I think price is going to go up. So I'm going to place an order because I want to make profit with that expectation. Conversely, if you think price is going to go down, if you click one of these sell buttons, you will begin placing an order that will hopefully be filled so that you can get in with a possible downward movement. You can place these orders almost at any time, providing the market is open and your brokerage account is set up a certain way. We are using the SIM 101 account, which is the built-in account for paper trading within NinjaTrader. And as you place these paper trades over time in practice, you will actually build a history of account performance that you can look into later on to measure your success. And that can be accessed by going to the control center and going to new and then trade performance. And here you can generate a report. I haven't really done much paper trading recently, but if I wanted to, I could gener generate a report from the, the start date here to the end date, clicking generate, and this would fill in with a summary, the, the statistics of my paper trade. So a cumulative total, an expose on how my performance is. Very useful to have and something you should check on every week, two weeks, 30 days, six months, and so on. Back to the chart, we have now a way to paper trade. There is a more advanced way to place orders and that is something called a Superdome. So if you go to new and go to Superdome dynamic, the static is a different story. For now, just focus on the dynamic. You will have a Superdome window. And this Superdome window, I think of it as a remote controller for interacting with the market, for placing orders, just like the Superdome. So this is a more complex version of the chart trader, I feel. You can do a few more things with it. In fact, it gives you a breakdown of the buyers and sellers here. This is the uh, sell column here on the right, the buy column on the left, and you can interact with the price accordingly. You can place a market order to buy right here, whereas the buy market would be up there in the upper left of this chart trader panel. Very useful, the Superdome, typically what we recommend, but chart trader will work fine as well if that's what you're more comfortable with. By the way, we do have more advanced videos that we can send you regarding the Superdome and placing orders and the different order types. So if you are interested in that, reach out to us, support at daytradetowin.com. And of course, our Get Started Trading Guide does have some content in there that will help you.
Okay, great. We know how to place orders, or at least we know what we can use to place orders, but how do we make informed decisions? Well, yeah, you can understand price patterns, look at them and say, aha, I know what the, when this happens, I'm going to do this and so on. But that takes years of experience typically to develop that sense of timing, that sense of pattern recognition and so on. What we provide at Day Trade to Win are a number of trading methods. And these methods are transduced into something called indicators. We've already looked at two indicators, but these are kind of simplistic. They do give us a measurement and they do have a lot of utility, but our indicators go well above and beyond those two indicators I have discussed. For example, we have the Atlas line. If you double click on the Atlas line, if you happen to have it, if not, you can purchase it from our website, daytradetwin.com. You can then configure the settings. We again, fully teach this. We have live training. We have a course, the whole nine yards. Once you have the Atlas line on your chart though, it can really be helpful to aid your trading. For example, here we have the Atlas line and it's giving us a short signal and that would have had us enter in somewhere around here and that may have well been some profit. Now, the prior signal, maybe not so good, but that's part of trading. The idea is overall, the consistency should give you the results you are looking for, or at least something to work with. We have additional signals here, these pullback and strength signals, which give us additional opportunities to enter, assuming that price will go down. So again, we fully teach this method. This is one of many that we offer at Day Trade to Win. In fact, we offer a full eight week mentorship program that includes over 10 trading methods. We teach you how they all work together to form one complete trading plan. So if you just want to go fully into day trading, you're that serious about it, by all means, check out our mentorship program. So look forward to that. This, for example, is our blueprint indicator giving us a short signal right near where the Atlas line gave us a signal. And when we have two different uh, systems giving us signals around the same time, we like to see that. So the blueprint is something that we're pulling out of the mentorship program and we're making it available as an independent system very soon. So maybe by the time you're watching this video, it will be on our website. And we really like this method. It's all price action based and you can compare it here with the Atlas line. So you can see it's actually an overlap, which is quite interesting, but we see these two confirming signals. So this was, you know, double the reason why we felt comfortable entering here. If I had placed a trade and was showing you at this time, maybe it would have done a real time trade, but nevertheless, we can look at historical performance and scroll back and see what happened as uh, discussed earlier. So just two indicators. We have many more to show you and share with you again, check out the website daytradetowin.com. And I really encourage you to look at the get started trading guide that we talked about or that I talked about earlier in the video because you may want to save these settings and the best way to do that is to save a template. And we go into saving a template, saving a workspace, recalling all this stuff, just configuring your screens and your charts to make it super easy to get everything back the way you want it the next time you open NinjaTrader. You can also go to the contact page we have, fill out this form or give us a call here at 888-607-0008. We are US based, so just give us some time in case we don't respond to you right away. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you here at Day Trade to Win, and we want to help you succeed and learn how to day trade using our unique approach to price action. If you're new to day trading and want to learn more on the benefits of trading the markets, visit daytradetowin.com, join the next mentorship class starting later this month, and subscribe to the Day Trade to Win YouTube channel. We focus on price action and we work exclusively with new and beginner traders who want to learn more on how to prosper from trading.